flashback mostly a great scientist did an experiment to explain the relationship in between the proton number atomic number and the properties of elements consider two metal anodes made from the same material if you start projecting accelerated cathode ray particles to the first anode you can see the cathode ray particles reflect back to the second anode but now they are not the cathode ray anymore but they are the x-rays we will talk about x-rays in another video until we get another video about x-rays consider this definition when accelerated cathode ray particles strike with metal anode it starts emitting x-rays famous nuclear scientist Ron Jen was the first person to observe x-rays so we've got a metal anode and here we have the accelerated cathode ray particles and we have the x-rays so what happens next what happens to the reflected x-rays what will happen after they strike into the second metal anode pause the video for a moment and think 15 minutes later if your guesses are correct they reflect once again this time they won't create another type of rays but secondary x-rays would be created Then mostly kept a spectrometer in front of those secondary x-rays. What would happen next? Once again, pause the video and think. And don't forget to leave your answers in the comments below. 16 paranoia filled days later. So, if your guesses were correct, Reflected X-rays consist with different wavelengths or frequencies, but they consist as a mixture. Whenever it is sent through an X-ray spectrometer, which is this old friend here, the mixture will split into components. This is known as a spectrum. So, components in the sense, it divides the X-rays in the components of light. These components are collectively known as a spectrum. Certainly, through all the wavelengths collected, the average wavelength is calculated by Moseley. So, he obtained the following formula. Moseley got this relationship by changing the metal according to the periodic order. For us to get a clear understanding of this relationship and the order of metals, let us take a look at the following graph. The following graph is plotted in the y equals mx equation name. So, according to this equation, the following graph is plotted. So, on the x-axis, the following relationship and in the y-axis, the metal order. Since this is a y equals mx graph, the graph increases in this pattern. This relationship clearly explains the properties of metal as there is a direct relationship in between this relationship and the metal order, which indirectly means the increasing of the proton number. Mostly concluded that there is a larger influence by proton number towards the properties of elements. So, he named the proton number of a certain element as the atomic number. The atomic number is the characteristic number of element atom. 
So, an element can be easily identified with its atomic number. All thanks to great scientist Mosley, wherever he is. Thank you for watching this video and please make sure to subscribe to get the latest notifications of our upcoming videos. And don't worry, I am uploading chemistry videos frequently, but stay tuned, there are more and more videos coming and added to our other playlists too. So see you in another video. Thank you.